So you're looking in the mirror and you're thinking to yourself, I don't understand. I've been putting my makeup on for 20, 30, 40 years and I've been putting it on the same way but it just doesn't look good. So if you find that's you, then you might want to watch this video. We're going to talk about the seven common makeup mistakes that age your face. Coming right up. Okay, so as you can see, I look a little crazy. I kind of feel a little like two-faced. But other than some pretty extreme eyeshadow, all of the sort of techniques that I've used on this side of my face um, are colors that um, are not out of the range of what one would wear. So I'm going to start with the most common makeup mistake that people over 40 often make. And the first mistake is number one, foundation. The foundation that you use is not a good match and it's too heavy uh, a color. You're going to look like a Oompa Loompa. And then secondly, of course, if it's too heavy a formula, it's going to actually settle into all your fine lines and wrinkles. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you want to make sure that you have a properly matched foundation. So obviously, if you don't know what your foundation color is, you can go into any of the cosmetic stores and they will actually properly match your foundation. So I am actually using this one. This is a really good match. So I'm going to apply that. And so that is the number one mistake for foundation is a mismatch of color which will really, really drag and make your face look tired. Next makeup mistake is concealer mishaps. It doesn't matter what the manufacturer says about your concealer. If you're over 40, that concealer is going to settle in your fine lines and wrinkles. And the worst part is if you go to set that with powder, right after you put on your concealer, which I have, in about an hour it is going to be a flaky, cakey mess that is just going to further age those fine lines under your eyes. What you want to do is you want to take a concealer that is very close again to your own skin color. You don't want to have it so light, the concealer underneath, that you look like you have raccoon eyes. So if you have a little discoloration, if you have a little sort of purplish or blue, the best way to counteract that, that's close to your skin with a little bit of yellow and that will totally alleviate that problem. You could easily blend this with your finger or concealer blender for underneath the eyes because to me that just gives the most natural sort of airbrushed finished and you want to make sure that however you blend it it is well blended all the way out to the sides of the temple. Eyeshadow. Now as we age of course we want to first of all we tend to have a little bit oilier eyelids so ideally you want to set your eyes right away with a nice eyeshadow primer uh, because if you don't then you're going to get a lot of creasing uh, over the course of the day. Any kind of bright colors um, tend to kind of give away a little bit of the age of the makeup wear and ideally that's not what we want to do. So try to avoid really significantly bright pops of color all over the eyelid. Pick a nice matte color for my lids. A little darker accent and I'm just going to put that not in the natural crease but just slightly above it in a very very soft blending. Um, that looks really great there and instantly ages you is doing too dark of an eyeliner and especially on the lower waterline because that tends to actually bring the eye down, makes it droopy. You want to completely avoid that. So for this, I want to use something lighter on the lower waterline. Any nude eyeliner would work great and then I just want to like line my lower lash line and I'll go in just into the tear duct in the corner here and just blend that out as well so it's not too harsh and also really helps to accentuate the actual color of the eye. And makeup mistake is the brows. On this side you'll see that as I for brows I have the Anastasia of Beverly Hills pomade in taupe. I've kind of kept it a little more natural 
and just not made it so dramatic and so arched as this brow. I've kept it nice and natural and again that really helps to kind of keep the face a little more youthful. The stronger, the more arched and the darker the brow to your natural hair color, the more aged it makes your face look. So just remember some of the makeup trends for 2017 is the boyish brow. I don't want it to be so arched and so defined as a mascara on the bottom lashes because once again this really drags the eye down and it instantly ages you. Curl your lashes, put whatever eyeliner you want on the upper sort of water line that really helps to open it up and then get a nice mascara and only apply it to the upper lashes whatever is your favorite mascara feel free to use that we want the eye to be open and bright and youthful we don't want it to look dragged down and tired with aging our lips just become naturally thinner as we grow older so unless you plan to use a whole lot of lip liner, try to avoid any of those looks that are very heavy with lip liner and a very heavy or dark color. Because again, they're going to really accentuate the thinness of your lips and again, drag down the face and not look so youthful. So I am just using this one here. So I'm just going to just draw just slightly outside the lines here and just show you the difference and how much that opens up your lips and gives you a youthful boost right off the bat. Really nice. Even though the lip liner is the same on both sides as far as the levels, this side, you would have to agree, looks considerably healthier and looks a whole lot fatter than this side apples of your cheek when you use a blush because again this instantly ages you and you don't want to use something that's too dark for yourself and you don't want to use something that is too brown because that gives you a very dirty muddied look if you don't know what is the most natural sort of blush color for you here is a quick and easy tip take your fingers and pinch the apples of your cheeks on up Give it a minute for the blood to come into the cheeks and look at that color. And if you have a blush that is similar to that color, just use a very soft pink color, just very lightly, not at the apples of the cheek, not at the center. I'm just going to very slowly just take my blush and blend it out towards the temple. This will give such a youthful look without dragging down the center of the face. Number seven was highlighter. One of the worst things you can do when you're over the age of 40 with highlighter, if you put too much highlighter right here. In essence, what it does is it completely drags down the eye. And let me tell you, if you have hooded eyes, you do not want to put highlighter here and drag it all the way down. And then, the dreaded up high on the actual cheekbones but instead what you're doing is you're putting highlighter all through the very fine lines on your face that's a big no-no I'm going to use my what's up and I'm just going to put it just a little bit lower here and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out so that it's really nice and soft freshness and a little dewiness to the skin. And lastly uh, is how do you set the makeup once you have it on? Well, you can use a very fine milled translucent powder. That would be a great idea. Remember, when you're over 40, less is more. So try to avoid all of that powder for setting and pick yourself up like this. Of course, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix It Spray let it dry, and you're good to go. I hope that you really enjoyed all of these most, the seven most common makeup mistakes for the 40 plus. 
Uh, they were certainly fun making. It'll be fun taking this makeup off. And if this is your first time here at AbFab, well then, welcome. This channel is mainly all about makeup reviews with a few makeup tutorials and some hauls thrown in for good measure. All of the reviews will always be honest, direct, and to the point, and it's always sprinkled with some well-placed sarcasm. And if you'd like, uh, you can come back next Sunday where I upload a new video every Sunday afternoon. So for all of you, I hope that you have an absolutely fabulous week. Take care, everybody. Bye.